Hey guys, um, I'm gonna do a short little chat um, about a idea I always, a concept I always teach, I always, I always talk about, and sometimes, I don't know, I'm not good enough with the written word sometimes. Sometimes people are not quite sure about what I'm talking about. They think about it in a different way, so I'm gonna take a minute and rather than trying to write a lengthy thing that uh, still doesn't get the idea across, I thought it'd be easier if I just talk about it. So there's this concept I always teach in my all my coursework and I push all the time, this idea of defense first. And a lot of times people hear it and go, oh, well, defense first. You're gonna let the guy beat you up. You know, you need the offense. And that's not what I'm talking about. That's, that's, that is, has nothing to do with it. Just because I said defense first does not mean I'm ignoring offense. What I mean by defense first is that I never want to sacrifice my defense for the sake of the offense. That's it. It's just an easier, quicker, shorter way of saying that. So what do I mean? The idea is, when, when we see it all the time, I, you, I guarantee you that every single UFC card, there's one fight where it happens. One guy's win. Maybe he's even winning the fight. They're throwing. Everything's working real great. And all of a sudden, one guy starts... Maybe he sees the other guy open up a little bit. Maybe he, he, he's clipped him and the guy gets a little wobbly. So the, guy, so the first guy, oh, okay, here. And he starts swinging. He's going to load up and he wants to really knock that guy out. But as he's doing it, where he goes from something nice and tight and throwing nice shots, all of a sudden he's doing this. And now the other guy, maybe through intent, maybe through pure luck, he goes, boop. And the guy walks into it, bang, knocked out. Happens all the time. If you ever want to, uh, I always use this example because I think it's the best one. It's from Strike Force from a few years ago. Uh, Pete Dragao versus Scott Smith. Perfect example of that. Pete Dragao was winning the fight, completely dominating. Started to swing for the fences. I think it was in the second round. Scott Smith swung, desperate. Both of them went down. It was like the end of Rocky II. Scott Smith recovered slightly faster, stood up, won the fight. You see it all the time in a grab, in an entanglement, it, uh, standing in a clinch on the ground. We're desperate. Oh, I've got to get this great position. I want to get that underhook. I want to get to that body lock. Need to get to the guy's back. Oh, I need to get this sweep. I want to get this choke. And as we do that, as we as we look for the offense, as we look to win, as we look to get to that next step. During that process, we forget about the offense, the defense, excuse me. We forget about staying safe. We forget about staying in the fight, right? I always say this to people, and, and, and the idea is very simple. I, my first job is to not lose. Because as long as I'm not losing, I have a shot at winning. But the minute I lose, winning's right out the window. No matter how badly I'm being beaten, no matter how bad the situation is, as long as I haven't lost, I stand a chance of winning. Not winning might be because somebody comes and rescues me. Cops pull up, my buddies pull up, the guy gets tired and leaves, or I'm lucky enough to find that opening and take advantage of it. Whatever. But at least I haven't lost. I'm still conscious, I'm still mobile, and I'm still in the fight. So, defense first is just a way to say, look, it's great. Yes, let's knock the guy out. Let's get the sweep. Let's get the submission. Let's get the knife out. Let's get the pistol out and do all that stuff and, and do the offensive part that allows us to win. Just never open up that giant window of vulnerability while doing so and let that guy in through that window and finish us. That's what I never, ever want to happen. I need to, again, stay conscious, stay mobile, stay in the fight. Don't lose. So defense first is just a, 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 a nice mantra for me to say, okay, cool, great. I, I've developed the ability to throw a great rear uppercut. I not, you know, I tear people's heads off. But as I do it, am I doing it nice and tight? Or am I doing it like this and opening up all this window of vulnerability for him to take advantage of and to knock me out before my punch lands? Right? It does no good. I could have the I could have a punch so powerful that it knocks down brick walls. But if I get knocked out with a nice short, short 
faster shot before mine lands, it's irrelevant how hard I hit. I'm never gonna hit, right? So keep that in mind, right? Offense, great, but defense first. Don't lose the defense. Don't open up that window of vulnerability on your pathway to the win, okay? So hopefully that explains a little bit more. And this way, and then the next time one of my buddies tries to take me to task for saying defense first, then we don't get into some disagreement. He goes, oh, okay, I know what you mean. That doesn't, that makes sense, fine. So, um, so hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you guys got something from that. Maybe hopefully, you know, some of you might have gone, oh, okay, that's a pretty good idea. So if you got any questions, as always, you can shoot me a line at Cecil at IADcombatives.com. I love talking about this stuff, so feel free to, to hit me up at any time. Otherwise, and hopefully I'll see you back here soon, guys. Thanks much.